All right, I've just been asked how to style this table of contents like this uh, to look to look like this rather than the way it currently looks. So I'm just going to take you through what I've done to make it look like this. So there's a few steps. Um, let's have a look. A couple of steps here. Let me close this out. So the way it looks currently, this is the way it looks currently. I'm going to close out of that. This is the way it looks currently. Now let's style it to look nicer. All I have is currently just a, a headline. Now this could be a paragraph. All I have is like a, a paragraph here and a list. Um, how do we style it to look much nicer? If you are using the Generate Blocks plugin, which is a very, very lightweight plugin, it adds just basically four blocks um, that provide a whole heap of options for you. It's a free plugin with some uh, with a pro add-on to give you more features, but the features I'm going to use here are basically the free features. So let's see how we can use the Generate Blocks plug plugin to improve the look of this particular table of contents here. To do so, all I'm going to do here is just add a block. I'm going to add a container block. So Generate, Bless, uh, Generate Blocks adds these particular blocks. Now the template library is a premium add-on, but the other four are free add-ons. So I'm going to use the container block to basically create a container in which I'm going to wrap my contents. I'm going to first move my heading into the container and also the uh, the list how did i so you saw how i created the list it's just basically a simple list i'm going to just add that list there and then move it manually up or down now another useful uh, plugin available is a block navigation plugin using this i can swap them around now once i've done that i want to select my container Right, so I'm selecting my container with the uh, paragraph at the top and the list at the bottom. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to change this paragraph to a headline. It gives me fine grain control over the padding and stuff, but we'll see how this looks. As of the moment, if I was to update and view this, preview this, right, in a new tab, it won't look any different uh, compared to before, right? So the only difference is I've got some padding all around and um, these links look different, but that's because I've added a piece of code there. So let's see how that's done. So how can I style this differently? Now I'll also show you how I have removed the bullet points in a second, but to just check out uh, how to style this, what we're going to do is select the the outermost container and ensuring that I'm in the outermost container I go back to my navigation blocks with the outermost container selected I'm going to do a few settings right so we'll need to take care of a few settings first thing I'm going to reduce the font size the while it looks nice it's pretty big we can reduce the font size uh, to something a bit more uh, manageable so I'm going to go show advanced typography I'm going to set the font size to 16 pixels, right? You'll see straight away that they're smaller now. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go to spacing. So with the container, you can set the all the contents to change. So I'm going to go into spacing. And I don't like this 40 pixels of padding. I think it's a bit too much. I'm going to um, select all and just make it zero. To begin with and i'm going to choose m's m's is like uh compared to uh, is the same as pixels uh it's 16 times so i'm just going to go 1m the other option is i could have just gone with 16 pixels all around that's another option the margin bottom again i'm going to set it to two m's so that there's a bit of a spacing between this and the bottom as you can see there's some spacing there but i want to create more spacing below as well above and below now i want to set a border size of one pixel so i'm going to choose all all of them and just go bump it up to one now you can see a black border we'll change the color in a second 
The next thing is I'm going to do is again select all of these and create a border radius of four pixels. As you can see, I get a nice curved border as a result, not a sharp edge. With that done, I'm going to go into the next settings, which is color. I'm going to choose my background color again as part of your theme setup. I would have set up the default colors for you. These are my theme defaults. Um, so I'm going to choose a blue as my background color and I'm going to choose 50% blue. I don't want it. It's, it feels a bit too dark for this use. Um, so I'm going to go 0.5, so half. And same with my border color. I'm going to choose this a darker blue. And I'm going to go 0.5 for that as well, right? They, with that, it already looks really nice. Um, so I've set the, then I'll go into this um, paragraph block, change it to a headline. Now headlines typically is, a, is another one of those generate blocks. So it's it gives you more options uh, to control your text. I'm going to change it from a heading two to a paragraph, right back to a paragraph. So it looks like a paragraph, but you notice a paragraph didn't have all these spacing options. So all I'm going to do here is change the um, padding bottom to zero to ensure that there's no padding at the bottom. And the margin bottom, I'm just going to set it to rather than that much, I'm just going to set it to six. I don't want this much amount of, uh, padding between the page contents and the list below. I'm going to put it to six, right? The next step, so let's see how that looks. It already looks quite nice, right? But I've re removed the bullet points. How did I do that? I've gone to my list. I should have removed this. I've added a TOC or a table of contents class. You can call it whatever you want. If I remove this, this is how yours would be at this stage. There you go. So all I've done is gone here, gone into the advanced section of the table of contents, ensure that you are in the list. And I just added a class here called TOC. Now here's a piece of code you need to add to make this styling easy, easier on you. So every time you create a TOC, you can um, add this, this particular table of contents block or maybe what I'll do is I'll just uh, duplicate this so I can create uh, a table of contents uh, and have it ready for me for the next time around all I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove all of these right I'm going to create a reusable table of contents block and I'm going to even remove this because I know I'm going to add this I'm going to go link one and have that ready for me to go. Then I'm going to select this whole container and I'm going to add it to my reusable blocks. Right, and I'm going to give it a title. I'll go to my reusable blocks uh, I can go to my reusable blocks in a second. Before that, I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call this table of content. So next time I need to use a table of contents block or a TOC block, all I need to do, I'll also put so that I can search, search easily. I'll just also call it TOC, right? And I'm going to hit update and then uh, remove this block completely. So next time I need to add a, a table of contents, let's imagine I want to add it here. All I'll need to do is um, type in table. I should be able to get the re reusable table of contents, right? Can I see it? Hold on, let me try again. Let's hit. Uh, let's hit first of all save then next time I want to add oh yeah let me go into here let me go into click here 
going to reusable and there should be table of contents there we go I should be able to add that table of contents and go uh, just mo modify it right so you just go change it into convert it into regular blocks these menu options have changed recently that's why I'm just getting confused so convert it into that and I'll be able to add my table of contents whenever I want so it's quite easy this way just go back to the container and delete this now that we have now that I have the table of contents block I can add it on all other pages when I need to create rather than do this manually every time now I was going to show you I'm going to hit update I was going to show you how I styled this as a table of contents all I did is add a clear class called TOC to this bunch of links right and I will go to my appearance uh, in my case um, I have like a simple CSS uh, plugin you can go to customize and go to advanced uh, CSS I'll show you in a second but here in my simple CSS all I've done is apart from the HTML scroll behavior I've also added a simple list saying TOC list style none just this bit so add this piece of code um, I'll show you how you can add it to your thing without having this plugin installed if this is all you're going to add if this is all the code you're going to add a better option would be to just go to your additional CSS section and just add it here right just paste that here and with that your TOC will be styled nicely and look like that so I hope you found that useful if so give me a thumbs up thank you